Hi you guys! Welcome back to my channel. I feel like it's been a really long time since I've like sat down to film and I feel like there's a whatever. We are going to adjust. But hi you guys! I hope you guys are doing well. I had like a bit of a sinus issue so if I sound stuffy that's why I feel fine but the, I don't know. Just some snot. I don't know why I always feel like I need to give you like a health slash snot update when it's not doing great but I think it's mainly just because like my voice sounds weird, but it has been so long since I've sat down to film like this, especially in the bedroom, which I know I'm gonna get a lot of questions about like, oh, you got a new bedspread. No, it is the same one, it, which I get questions on all the time. It is a king size quilt from Anthropology, but it's reversible. So this is the underside of it. So we're just trying this out for a bit, which I really, really like it. It's just white with some blue pattern on it. So I don't want to get questions about that. And also my pom-pom earrings, which if you follow me on Instagram, you saw that I posted these. I made these. I got so many messages asking for me to sell them on my Etsy page, which I can and will do. Um, I just need a little bit of time to make them and get them listed and all that. And I also wanted to make sure that like they weren't going to fall apart, but they honestly are really comfortable and like I wore these all through Vegas, even on our road trip down there. I've been wearing them constantly and just trying to see like how they play out and they've been fantastic. They're not nearly as annoying as I thought they'd be, I think because I made them like long enough that they're not like hitting me in the face. So yeah, stay tuned, mostly probably on Instagram stories to see when those go live. I will update you here again as well. But yeah, my pom-pom obsession has moved to earrings and somebody messaged me saying like, this was the obvious next step. And I was like, thank you so much, I agree. <laughs> but okay, I think that's all the announcements portion. It's like the morning announcements at school. Whoa, what a trip. Do you remember that? I went to two different high schools. The first one was a private Catholic school. <laughs> And they had like TV announcements, like you see, I mean, I don't know, I don't know where you live if you actually have like t televised announcements, but like for me, that was always something that was in the movies, but at the school, they actually had it. And I was like, wow. And I actually had a locker. But then I moved to public school, which I actually enjoyed public school way more than private school. Why are we talking about school? We're talking about favorites. So I have my February favorites, happy March. And last month I did um, a random favorites, which I can link up in the corner if you missed it. But, and I said in there that since then, I was going to try to incorporate like all my favorites in these favorites videos. Cause I feel like that's just more well-rounded and more helpful than just beauty stuff. Some, I guess sometimes if I have like a ton of beauty stuff, it'll be, you know what I mean? Like it might not be everything and I'll separate them. But for most months, I have something on my shirt. For most months, I want to do it like a collective, like all my faves, kind of like Friday faves would be on my Instagram. It's just a mishmash of everything. I feel like I had something else to say. It's gone gone forever. Maybe it'll come to me later. But let's go ahead and get into the video starting with nail polish first as usual. I remembered what I wanted to say. I was on a no buy for the month of February which I'm happy to report that I followed through. I didn't buy anything. I think besides a pack of arugula seeds on Amazon which like I'm barely counting that. It was more like tangible items like clothes, home decor, beauty products, because I just feel overwhelmed with crap. So that's kind of what I was trying to eliminate. And I did it and I was so excited. I have been making kind of like a beauty wish list because there's been some things coming out that have like killed me that I couldn't buy. And I think I'm gonna do like a beauty wish list video later coming up this month. But that's what I wanted to say that it's kind of minimalist on the beauty side because I haven't been bringing anything new in, but I do still have plenty to share. So anyway, moving on with nail polish first as usual. So I'm pretty sure I've talked about this before, but it's not technically new. Um, the one I'm wearing right now is called Girls, Good Girls Gone Plaid. I think I've talked about this one before as well. I'll have this link down below. I always have my nail polish linked in the description box if you're curious. But besides that, I had cheetah nails this month, which if you follow me on Instagram, you saw them. One of my best friends, actually from that private school I was talking about, I met her at Catholic school. One of the like few people I still talk to from that school became a nail artist, like a manicurist, but she's really, really great at um, nail art. She works at Olive and June, which is kind of how like I was introduced to Olive and June, but she had never done my nails. And so I went to get my nails done by her because I follow her Instagram, which you should as well. It's called Danicures because her name is Danny. So it's like manicures, but Danny. I was like, yes, great name. But she does incredible nail art if you're like looking for inspiration. She's not currently taking any new clients because she's so busy, which is a great problem to have. But if you're just looking for like nail inspo and you just like those kind of accounts, hers is great. And she is amazing at nail art. She's always been really good at painting and drawing and stuff. So this made sense. Um, so I went to get my nails done by her because she does incredible cheetah nails. And I warned her, I was like, I'm going to make you put cheetah on every single one of my nails. And she's like, I literally already know that. I expect nothing less from you. <laughs> so the color we went with, because what I liked about the cheetah nails is it was 
fun but it was neutral because sometimes with nail art I can get really bored of it really quickly or like annoyed with it after a few days I'm like oh, okay I'm done but like I literally wish I could live my life in cheetah nails I loved them so so much and so since I'm so pale I wanted to do more of like a nude pink brown and not like a tan because sometimes it just looks funky on me so we went with Essie stirring secrets which I believe this was from last year's collection which I did like a sponsored post for this nail polish which this is not sponsored but I love this polish I wasn't expecting to like use it in the cheetah nail way but I loved it so yes the cheetah was my favorite of the nail art but also I love this color it's a really good neutral base color it'd be a great toenail color as well you guys know I don't like to wear dark colors on my toes it's just lights sometimes like really bright fun ones in the summer if they match my manicure but yeah I just wanted to mention this that I love this color and I kind of forgot about it but it was brought back to the forefront of my mind thanks to the cheetah nails that I'm obsessed with and will hopefully get again soon. And that was it for nail polish. I wasn't able to buy anything in February so I haven't picked up any of the Mexico City collection which I mentioned in a video that I was really like underwhelmed with the Mexico City collection but I was looking at an old collection. I thought I was looking at like a new leaked picture. No it was from like years ago. The Mexico City collection is beautiful. There's lots to choose from so I need to go pick up the polishes I want from that. Again, I would follow me on Instagram to see updates on nail polish. And then of course in favorites videos as well, but. And there's like a Neo Pastel, I think it's called, collection coming out, which I freaking love when OPI does pastel collections. So I'm really, no, it's Neo Pearl, but it's like pastel colors. I'm so excited. We're chatty today is what we are. Okay, moving on to makeup. I did a get ready with me quickly video, which I will link up in the corner. Several days this week or this month, I was like in a rush or feeling lazy or I am trying to implement more of a routine in my life because I do work from home and sometimes it can be really easy to just like slide from the bed right onto the computer and work all day and it doesn't make me feel great. I do like the distinction of like, okay, I'm dressed and ready for the day even if I'm not going anywhere or like if I'm going somewhere later on in the day it just helps to get ready in the morning so I I came up with this like really quick all cream actually makeup look that I just do in like under 10 minutes that just makes me feel a little more fresh and awake and just like I love makeup so I do love to wear it and I don't wear it every day like I said but so I just came up with this little like makeup combo that I was loving and it's all cream and like I said it's in that get ready with me quick video but even when I'm not doing that all cream makeup look I've been obsessed with this. This is the Chanel Soleil Tan de Chanel Universal Bronze Bronzer. I could probably really use a new one. Smells fine, looks fine, but it's pretty old. <laughs> but it's so expensive, so like I don't want to buy another one, but I probably should. But I'm wearing it today. I love it. What is crummy about it is that it only comes in one shade. So while it fits a lot of skin tones, if you're super deep, like this is not going to show up on you, which is annoying. Let me get a swatch of it. It feels so weird, but like it dries down so nicely. So here's a swatch of it. I am wearing it all over my face today. I have this Real Techniques. I can link it down below. It's kind of like a, I think it's a foundation brush, but that's what I've been using to just kind of like stipple it onto my face. And I am obsessed with it. So it is kind of a more like warmer bronzer but I really like the finished look of when you get it all blended out. So many of my favorite YouTubers all different kinds of skin types and skin tones love this so I feel comfortable recommending it to like a wide array of people because I mean it is called the universal bronze or bronze universal but like besides the color I love the finish of it. It is a cream product which I'm kind of picky and fussy about certain a lot of cream products. I do have like my handful that I love but this one really stays in place all day. It does not move around. It kind of has like a powdery finish once it dries down and I am just obsessed with it. So definitely wanted to mention that as I have not been able to put it down this month as well as my NARS. I'm not going to use it so I don't know why I'm shaking it. The NARS Orgasm Liquid Blush. I am not going to demo this for you right now because it's a mess and I don't want to waste it. But if you want to see like literally how I demo this you can go watch that in a rush video. But I've had this for a while and I did not know how to use it. I think it's it was a Je Jessica Braun recommendation. With these products and I remember the same about like the benefit what were those called? The cheek stains? Oh, that's gonna bother me. But you know what I mean. They can't, they look like nail polish bottles almost and you just like paint it on. My issue with those was you could always see the initial like application areas, areas before you blended them out. And I found this hard to work with just like directly like putting it on my skin. So how I use this now is I will pump literally the tiniest bit. That's what's nice about this is the littlest bit goes a long way. Pump the tiniest bit like blend it out with my finger, 
Then take that same Real Techniques brush, which I should have brought in here because apparently it's favorite as well. Um, stipple it in there and then just stipple it onto my cheeks and it looks so nice. Such a nice like fresh glowy blush, especially for the spring and summer. It has a little bit of a sheen to it, but not a lot. And I just have been loving it. So if you're a cream blush kind of bitch, this is great. Especially cream blush I'm really picky about because I love blush and I don't want it sliding all over my face, which I didn't wear this today. That was a dumb move. I should have demoed this for you. I'm a bad YouTuber, but oh well. <laughs> but yeah, I've just been loving this for like lazier... Somebody is demolishing the dumpster outside. But yeah, I've just been liking this for lazier days when I'm wearing less makeup and just don't want to like fuss with a bunch of products. I've been loving this. This was sent to me and I'm excited about it because I would have never tried this because I'm kind of over eyeshadow as a whole. Unless it's a Jaclyn Hill Morphe palette or a Tati Beauty palette. <laughs> I just don't really reach for eyeshadows. But I've been loving this. So Bare Minerals sent me over a little package of their Gen Nude Natural Oasis line. And this is the eyeshadow palette. They did send me an eyeliner, which I actually am liking. It's like a dark green color. I didn't want to mention it today because I haven't used it a ton. So I want to try it out some more before I like recommend it to you. But they sent me the eyeliner, a blush, some lipsticks, and then this beautiful eyeshadow palette, which this is called, I think, the Gen Nude. Natural Oasis eyeshadow palette. I don't know if that has another name, um, but it's right here. It has six shadows. I really want to try this dark matte green color, but I haven't tried it yet. I've only tried these four up here, but I love it. I've been wearing papaya and cabana in my crease literally pretty much every day this entire month if I'm wearing makeup. Sir! The shade Papaya is kind of like a lighter corally color and then the shade Cabana is kind of like just a warm tone brown crease color. I love the shade Sandy Beach for an inner corner highlight. I have always felt kind of weird about inner corner highlights because I don't wear like super heavy eye makeup looks most of the time anyway. So like I felt a little weird wearing the inner corner highlight because they sometimes were just so stark but this one is just such a nice like pearly creamy white like you can barely see it but it builds nicely in the inner corner and I've been loving it under the brow bone as well and then this red hibiscus shade is so pretty I wore it all over the lid the other night when I went to dinner with my friends and it's just really really nice it's kind of more of like a, a more coppery shade than the normal like rose gold shades I like to wear but it was nice for like a night out but just like the quality of these is really nice if I'm not mistaken there's no like nasty ingredients in these it's more of like a natural line from them which I obviously want to support and I love and I really want to try this palm leaf one. I was gonna try it today, but I was like, that's a little ballsy and I'm going out to dinner later. I need to get to that, but the neutral colors in here, the first four are beautiful and I'm totally loving. And this mirror is the like best mirror I've ever seen on a makeup product ever. Like I'll be looking in my mirror doing my makeup and then I'll pick this up to do something closer and I'm like, whoa, that is a high def, high quality mirror. And I love it. I mean, it's a little terrifying to see yourself so clearly, but it's really nice at the same time. I really shockingly have a lip favorite, which I'm going to reapply using said mirror. My lips have been so dry, no matter what I do. They're literally so dry. But this is the NYX This Is Everything Lip Oil, but in the uh, sheer blush shade. You guys know that I'm like ride or die for the original This Is Everything oil. And I picked up a couple of the like sheer colors when they came out with them, but then I kind of forgot about them. And then in this month in doing the like going through my stuff, I'm not allowed to buy anything, so I'm shopping my stash. I pulled this out to, s and I honestly used this because I was like, I'm not gonna like this. Let me try it and then I'll get rid of it. Turns out I love it. I've been wearing it almost every day this month because it is a pink that I actually enjoy on myself. I hate myself in pink lipsticks, but this is kind of like, let me see if I can get a swatch of it. It's a very sheer pink. It's a bubblegum pink too, so I really did not think I would enjoy that. It's right here. Um, but I don't know, it's just like a milky pink that on my lips, I just love it. I don't know what to say. Maybe I'm a changed woman and now I'm like into pinks on my lips, but I just love the color. I will say this color formula, I don't know if it's different, but it does feel a little bit less like glossy and oily, just like a little bit less slippery than the normal This Is Everything lip oil, but it still is very hydrating and moisturizing and feels very comfortable. It's just like, I've noticed it's a little less of the slip of the normal This Is Everything oil, but I love it and I also have a darker shade which I need to pull out and try as well but I've just been so obsessed with this that I haven't used anything else. And last beauty favorite, I don't know if this would be skincare or makeup because I use it for both. 
but this is the Fresh Vitamin Nectar Antioxidant Glow Water. Um, I saw somebody use this and I was like, ooh, that looks so luxurious. And then I smelled it in Sephora and it smelled great. And I had like a gift card or something. I did not just go out and buy this because it is expensive. I think this is $48, which is so much. They do have a smaller size, which I'd probably recommend because I don't know, face sprays, I don't go through a ton that quickly. But I love this on top of makeup, but even more so, I love it just on bare skin. It is so beautiful. So if I am having a no makeup day, but I am still getting ready for the day, I just like to top my morning skincare off with a little bit of this and it just makes you glow. I don't know how to like explain it other than that. I'll spray a little bit on right now. So I can be nice and wet for this video. That's what she said. Ooh, don't get it in your mouth. It smells good, but it doesn't taste great. But it just feels so nice on your skin. I do like it on top of makeup as well. It's not like my all-time favorite makeup setting spray, but I do enjoy the way it looks. And it just adds a nice extra glow. You guys know I like to glow. I just uploaded my glow routine, which I can like up in the corner if you missed it. My most asked question in the comments or like messages or anything is what's your highlight how do you glow how do you get such dewy skin so I did a whole video dedicated to it so go check that out if you're interested um, but I do mention this in that because I do it just adds a nice extra glow and I love it now moving on to random lifestyle faves I don't really know where to begin we'll start here I have a hand soap this is the Mrs. Myers hand soap you guys know I love these and this spring one of their um, new scents is rose which I think this is new Oh, you guys, it smells literally so good. But I think this is new because I've been using Mrs. Meyers hand soaps for like three, four years now and I've never seen the scent. You guys know I love rose. And what I mainly love about this is it smells like real actual fresh rose petals. It doesn't smell like fake rose because there is a difference, especially now with like, I'm heavily into essential oils and those, the ones I use are like pure and like almost sometimes too strong because they're so pure. Like the fake rose scents and the fake lemon scents drive me nuts now because it's like, no, the real one smells so much better. And this literally smells so, so good. It smells like you're just literally washing your hands with rose petals. It smells great. I love these hand soaps. They're very, very moisturizing with the olive oil and aloe vera that's in them. I, these are my favorite hand soaps by far. Oh, well, this does have essential oils in it. Maybe that's why it smells so good. There's no parabens or phthalates in here, which I love. There is fragrance if you're trying to avoid that, but I think that's the only like nasty ingredient in here. There's glycerin, olive oil, aloe vera extract, essential oils, and it just smells really, really good. It can't, these can be a little bit pricier. Um, they're usually around like $5, I think. Sometimes I find them at Target for like $3.99, I think. Grove Collaborative has them for cheaper, but I will find where's cheapest and I will link it down below. And then speaking of essential oils, I do have a new oils combo that I am obsessed with, which if you follow me on, I think I mentioned in a video or somewhere, I don't know, but I, it's literally life-changing. So I've lo I love both of these oils on their own. This is Valor and Lemon. And I saw, I follow many oils accounts because I love it. Oh, we're leaking. Can't waste any Valor. Not at all. It's too expensive. <laughs> so I saw in one of the oils accounts I follow that if you put Valor and Lemon in the diffuser together and diffuse it, it smells like pink lemonade. I said that weird, pink lemonade. <laughs> I was like, no, it won't. That is the weirdest combination. That is not gonna smell good and it's certainly not gonna smell like pink lemonade. But lo and behold, damn it, it does. I have it in there right now. I have diffused nothing else in this bedroom since I've discovered this. It smells so good. Like I don't even, I, uh, I'm just very grateful for discovering that. Well, I didn't discover it. Somebody told me about it and I tried it, but I'm grateful to them. So Valor is kind of Young Living's like bravery oil. It smells very florally. It smells unlike anything I've ever smelled personally. It's got black spruce, camphor, blue tansy, frankincense, and geranium. And I always say it's this really cool dark blue color, which I just find fascinating. It's really pretty. And I love to diffuse Valor on its own. And I obviously love to diffuse lemon on its own, but together it's just like life-changing. So I put about four drops of each in the diffuser, maybe five of each and it just smells great. And I do have a Instagram page dedicated to essential oils since I am technically a distributor with Young Living. Just if you have questions or concerns or whatever, you can go talk to me there. But I do wanna say they just added a new starter kit. It's the Welcome Home Starter Kit, which both of these come in that. Um, and it's $40 cheaper than the other starter kit. It's 125 and it's a pretty great deal. Um, especially if you're just wanting to get into oils for diffusing and not really looking to like use them for other things. It's a great deal. So you can go to my essential oils page to like find all the information and DM me if you have questions. But also both of these also come in the original starter kit as well. I'm offering an oil freebie and some crystals if you sign up using my link just as like a thank you. But then Young Living is offering like a free valor if you are on essential rewards. There's also like a free lavender lotion that will come to you. It's just like, it's a great time to sign up if you've been wanting to, so go 
over there. Ask me questions. I don't want to bore you too much here, but if you already have both of these in your life, put them together in the diffuser because it's a wild good time. It smells so good. It's very summery and I, it just, it smells so nice and fresh and I love to have it in here diffusing with the windows open and oh, that's what I'm literally smelling right now. So good, y'all. So good. Also, I think it's really funny that the lemon oil sticker won't stick to the lemon oil bottle because if you don't know, lemon oil is kind of like a natural Goo Gone. I've thrown out all bottles of Goo Gone, which I used to love Goo Gone because I hate sticky things, but I don't need it anymore. Lemon oil works just as good. It's all natural, but it, but that's kind of like what it's known for is for getting up sticky stuff because it just eats through things. So I think it's funny that that lemon oil sticker will not stick to the top of my lemon oil. Got a real random favorite. Bradley and I have been to Vegas twice in the last month and a half. Vegas has taken a lot of gambling money from me and I'm gonna sue them. <laughs> My freaking bitch of a sister won the jackpot twice on the big wheel, which the big wheel is like my favorite gambling machine. I think about it every day. I love it. I could potentially really have a gambling problem if I could, if I was around it more because I love it so much, especially the big wheel. But the big wheel is basically like roulette, but like less odds. And I love to just sit at it. And Katie was sitting there with me and she hit the jackpot twice. And I was like, are you kidding me? I was pissed and it took $30 for me. So that's great. But anyway, oh, Vegas. So on the way to Vegas the first time, we live in California, Los Angeles, so um, I, don't, I don't know, we take the 15, I think that's what it is, and event on state line when you're crossing the border into Nevada, there is some outlets on the right, and there's a Williams-Sonoma outlet, which is a, it's a fabulous outlet, like it's huge, there's a, so much stuff in there, and Williams-Sonoma is so expensive, like wildly expensive, like I picked up a gravy boat and it was $70, and I was like, why? Why is this $70? It's just white. But we're kind of on this hunt for a cutting board, which I've talked about before, but we found this ladle, which I am obsessed with. I love the rose gold hardware. Actually, Bradley was the one that brought this to my attention because I think I bought like a, just like one of those like black, plastic utensil um, like kits or like boxes when I first moved into my first apartment and we still had a ton of it left and our ladle was that and he's like I want to get rid of it so we found this ladle which the ladle itself is like silicone which I love and then it has this beautiful rose gold handle it's a great size and shape and like it's deeper than my other ladle was we got it on sale so I think we only paid $12 for it but I think it's still like under $20 it's nothing ridiculous and I am just loving it like use and function but also the look of it so I wanted to mention that a really random kitchen favorite. <laughs> and then lastly are these cute little vase bud vase bottles from Cost Plus World Market. If you watched my weekend projects video, which I can link up in the corner, you saw that I am trying to propagate you can't see it. Uh, me bending down is gonna do nothing, but there's a hanging plant over there and I cut off a little bit like of a, a clipping of it and I'm trying to propagate it in a window. I am like all in on the plants right now. Like I am plant lady to the extreme. Like our apartment is just filling up more with crystals and plants and I'm sure Bradley is getting the divorce papers ready. And I've never successfully propagated anything, um, but I watched a video on how to propagate. And if you wanna like see me do it, you can go watch that video. But I loved the way it looked in the windowsill so much and I wanna propagate more that I wanted more of these jars and they are two dollars from cost plus so the the one I had before was pink and then the other day I went and picked up the purple and the green which I actually have right over there already propagating a leaf off of my new watermelon pepperoma I think it's called it's a really beautiful plant it was kind of expensive so I'm hoping it works I paid like $16 for this weird looking plant but the leaves look like watermelons because of like the green striping eye it's a it's great i can't wait so hopefully that works as well but i just love the way these look like i love that they're see-through glass so the way the sun shines through them you can easily see the stem and see if it's grown roots or anything the sun is hitting it better because it can go straight through the glass and it just looks really pretty in the windowsill so i wanted to have just like a propagating windowsill somewhere and have three of these and i just i love it and i wanted it to look cute as it's propagating because i'm very impatient i literally check the roots like three times a day I'm like are they there yet <laughs> and i don't even know how long it takes like this could be like months long process i'm not even sure I don't, I barely know what I'm doing. I just think it's really pretty. And you can also use this if you have like an active flower garden, you just wanna bring in some clippings. If you have like roses or lavender, it doesn't fit much in there, but it is beautiful. It'd be lovely in, in like your bathroom or your guest bathroom or something. I just love it. So I wanted to mention that and they're very cheap. And I think the only three colors are pink, green, and purple, but I'm not positive, but I'll have them listed down below. <sighs> but okay guys, that is it. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video, I hope. You have a great day. As always, I will have everything linked down below, listed. You can click on it, 
check it out, buy it, whatever you want. And I do have lots of videos coming up, so be sure to subscribe. I'll have my little face clicked, linked, wow. I'll have my little face right there. You can click it if you want, as well as some videos that you might enjoy. And yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you have a great day, and I'll see you very soon in some new videos. Bye!